Hello everyone, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. Welcome to Monarch Monday. I think this might be the last one. Maybe I'll post one more next week. But I thought what I'd do today is kind of give an overview of the Monarch Butterfly life cycle. So the first stage of the life cycle is the egg. And here you can see how small this thing is next to the pin. When the caterpillar emerges after about four days, um, the first thing it does, this one you can see is struggling to get out of its egg. Once it is fully emerged from the egg, it will turn around and that egg will be its first meal. It contains some really good nutrients for the caterpillar that will be essential for its survival. And here are some more newly emerged caterpillars. When they emerge from the egg, they are literally millimeters long in size and will, after eating this egg, start eating milkweed leaves. They will be in the larva stage for about two weeks as they grow from this teeny tiny new caterpillar to a caterpillar up to about two, two and a half inches in length. Here you can see an egg next to the yellow pin and then to the top right, a very small new caterpillar, just for size reference. Here are a couple more very small caterpillars on a leaf. And like I said, in a period of about two weeks, they grow to be about as big as these two on the bottom. Here you can see some caterpillars at different sizes. They literally just eat and poop until they start to climb to the top of a container and hang in their J hang. You did see this before. This is a sped up time lapse of now the caterpillar moving from the larva stage into the pupa stage. It will form its chrysalis even though the chrysalis is already inside the caterpillar skin. It's now shedding that caterpillar skin and it will hang in a chrysalis while the process of metamorphosis turns all the caterpillar inside parts now to monarch butterfly parts. The chrysalis will hang for about 10 days before the butterfly is ready to emerge. Once the caterpillar skin has been completely uh, removed from the chrysalis, it will still itself and then in about 30 minutes will go from this slightly, I don't know what you'd call it, lumpy looking chrysalis into the hardened chrysalis that it will stay in for about 10 days. You can see here the green ones and then also as the 10 days gets closer to the end, they will begin to be clear. And like here, you can see the butterfly's wings very clearly through the chrysalis until it is ready to emerge.
Remember when the butterfly first emerges, its wings are very um, crumpled up and you can see the swollen abdomen. That will begin to pump fluid from the abdomen into the wings so they are fully extended and then the butterfly will be able to fly. I would say it takes sometimes about two to four hours for the butterfly's wings to be fully extended and dried out so that the butterfly can fly away. Here you can see the difference between the butterfly on the left that emerged an hour or so before the one on the right. So we had the thunderstorm last night. These guys are still here hanging out, enjoying the little bit of shelter from the rain, I think. Hopefully sometime today they'll decide to fly away. So we're up to 49. I had six emerge yesterday. And let me move you over here. I'm guessing these two here and probably these two dark ones over here will emerge today. So that will bring us to 53. All right, have a great day. 53. Come on. Girl. 54. Come on. Ooh, girl, 55. Girl, hey, we got all the girls. All right, we're at 55. I'm probably gonna get these girls onto a flower nearby so I can take these other green chrysalides back inside although this one is starting to get clear but awesome 55 all right so I decided to get this guy on my finger and just kind of move him move her over to a flower so she can maybe get some nectar and then move on See if I can get her off my finger now. There. There we go. Oh, actually, look. See the two dots on the wings? This is a boy. So, no eggs for this guy, but beautiful, none the same. Nonetheless. I did learn a little bit more about the one year generational cycle of the monarchs. They migrate, like I've said, in Mexico and California over the winter in those warmer climates. In February or March, those monarchs will come out of migration and search for a mate, then begin flying north and east. They will lay eggs, and those eggs will be the first generation of monarchs for the new year. Those eggs will go through the four stages of the life cycle, lay more eggs, that will be generation two. They will lay more eggs, that will be generation three. The first three generations of the monarch's life cycle will be two to six weeks. That's how long they will live as adults. But the fourth generation that is born in September and October will live six to eight months. This is how long they will be in migration in Mexico until February or March and the cycle starts again. 
thanks for watching everybody. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and this Monarch Monday series. I hope you've learned a little bit more about the life cycle of the monarch butterfly and also about the generational cycle that takes place over a year. I am looking forward to adding to my monarch research next year. I'm considering tagging my monarchs that emerge in September and October so that I can track their migration to Mexico or California. So I hope you will check back for that and do a little more research about monarchs on your own. Maybe you live in an area that has milkweed, that has monarchs, and you can try raising a caterpillar next year. Thanks guys, and I look forward to your comments and questions. See you next time, bye.